Hello again, YouTube. And I'm back with an update on my recent conversion of my uh, 2012 Kia Sorento to a flex fuel, to become a flex fuel vehicle. And uh, with the uh, conversion kit that I purchased from Change2E85.com. As you can see, I'm traveling pretty well. It's driving. Uh, it's, you know, nice and smooth. I uh, just filled up with... Uh, with all of E85, I first I drove it with half and half, half uh, regular gas and half of E85, just like the instruction said. And uh, after that, I filled it up, as you can see, uh, with the e, um, with straight E85. And so now it's driving pretty well, as you can see. There are no check engine lights or anything. Uh, it's pretty smooth. Um, as far as gas mileage, um, really, I haven't really noticed any significant decrease. Uh, in gas mileage, if you look here, I don't know if you can see that, but it says I have a range of 438 miles uh, on a, this full tank. However, I've been driving it uh, significantly, and I, I think I had originally a range of like 448 or 50, something like that, and and I've been driving it, so, you know, naturally, uh, you know, obviously I've used some fuel since then, uh, but it's it seems that this is pretty well. Uh, pretty good to go. Um, one of the things that I, I neglected to do on my uh, Spectra when I converted it was to, you know, put some very good spark plugs in it. For you folks that may have some issues uh, with cold starts or concerned about cold starting with your this particular uh, conversion kit, um, I would recommend some very good plugs, uh, spark plugs. I have iridiums, uh, very expensive iridiums, uh, in this particular vehicle. Uh, when I bought it, and um, uh, it's uh, Nippon Denso Iridiums, and uh, they cost around $14, $15 a piece. Uh, so, you know, and they're very, very good, uh, and they're specifically for this particular vehicle. So, uh, just to let you know, uh, if you're considering this, you know, get some really good spark plugs. Iridiums are some uh, high-performance platinums for your, your particular vehicle. But anyway, this is just an update, YouTube, just to say, hey, uh, this conversion kit, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's working just fine. And if you have some questions, comments, or concerns, and so forth, if you are thinking about doing your own vehicle, I'll just post them, uh, you know, beneath the video here, and I'll try to respond. All right, take care, YouTube.